Immaculate Heart of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Immaculate means pure. My dear friends, the God, God, man relationship in the salvation history was denoted in many, many ways. One of the strong relationships that he brought forth is the marital, marital union. God became the husband, we became his wife. And the bridegroom and the bride. So Israelites was, they were, they were spoken as if they were the bride and God the bridegroom. And God wanted their people to be with him. And God, after, after exile, after punishment, we read the first reading from the Trito Isaiah, the third book of Isaiah. After they come into the promised land, they become, the, the instructions were given as a promise, as with all the promises of God. So they were, they were like a bride, veiled, decorated, and uh, with all the new clothes, bridal garments. And God accepted them with a new heart. It happened after the punishment, after the process of purification. They became unfaithful and went away from God. And after that exile, after that purification, they were brought back as a bride, as a bridegroom and a bride. The relationship was so strong. So today, Mary becomes that bride literally she becomes that bride bride of god she became the mother of god holy spirit became the spouse and she bore the son of god so that with that she she became that bride and god became the bridegroom and she is the replica she is the she is the example for us in relationship in the relationship with God. So, she was conceived with the Son of God. And then, before conception, there has to be that love, love of God, love of the husband. And her heart was so full of that love. She fell in love with him. But the word, she owned that word completely. With that love only she trusted. Love and trust are so intertwined, interconnected. She, in that love only she trusted God. So strongly that he owned that word in her heart. Love is always in the heart. And with that ownership, with that faith, that word became flesh in her womb. So the first business is with the heart. Without trusting, without loving in her heart. She, she won't be able to have that conception. So today he speaks about her heart. Immaculate heart. A pure heart. My dear friends, purity. Salvation history. Purity is always with pain. Isaiah 48, 10, we find how God purifies gold and he tests our hearts with pain. Book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse 5, we find how the, how, how the Lord tests the gold with fire and the righteous would be tested with insult and pain. So this is exactly, you read Hebrews chapter 12, verse 5 onwards, how a son is punished by the father. If you love the father like a son, he will punish you. And Tobit chapter 3 verse 20, he speaks about punishment before a crowning. So this purifying, purifying is always connected with pain. God has purified Mary's heart. Simeon, prophet Simeon, 
in the temple said your heart would be pierced with a sword if you find if you see a, a picture of immaculate heart of mary you find seven daggers piercing her heart that 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 denotes the seven incidents particularly that caused her so much of pain and is one of the one of the painful incident is in today's gospel mary lost her son at the age of 12 and my dear friends how that happened the beauty of it mary and joseph when when jesus was 12 at the age of 12 he become an adult all this time a, a child should go with his mother though says even though he's a boy but at the age of 12 they are considered as an adult so that's the age they are go with their father they always journey separately men and women separately so after a day's journey so all these years every year they went to jerusalem for passover jesus as a child went with mother this time he should go with his father but the father might must have thought saint joseph must have thought that okay this is a first year let him be with the mother mother must have thought jesus should be with the father so it's a miss jesus they thought they thought that they are with the relation is with the relations thought a heart you can be very hard thoughts can be really deceptive isn't it then their hearts were broken the word says son his parents were very surprised when they saw him and his mother said to him son why have you done this to us your father and i were very worried while searching for you their hearts were broken because they lost jesus this is not the only place that mary's heart was broken broken the time people said he's off his off of all he's he's not in his proper senses people said he's doing these miracles with, with the power of beelzebul and he was on the cross he was in the journey to calvary mary met him met, met her own son and on the cross he died the dead body was kept on mary's lap all these things really pierced her heart that is the secret of the purity to be immaculate you have to go through pain my dear friends you won't be uh, many did not understand when jesus said don't you know that i have to be in my father's house they did not understand the struggles pain tears are sighs we don't understand why those things happen to us but the beautiful the word says as for his mother she kept all these things in her heart she pondered in her heart without a word we are in the world with lot of noises we shout we argue we retort we want reasons we want things to be clear that's how we fight with ourselves with each other with god but mary sat pondered them all pondered what the other reason for her heart to be pure she pondered jesus's words but he said jesus's word is like a fire it purifies your heart jesus's word is like a sword double edged sword we test your thoughts immaculate heart is purified with pain and is full of god's promises that heart is full of love my dear friends think about it have a nice day may god bless you